Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making pizza. So I haven't done a cooking video in a while and I'm so hungry. It's 11, I've been up since 6 a.m. and I have not eaten. All I've had today is like some coffee and some tea and I'm starving. Coffee makes me super hungry. So I was gonna go make a pizza, I mean I am, but I went to the kitchen and uh, my cousin bought a bunch of, roommate, bought a bunch of ingredients for pizza but no cheese because I'm pretty sure she eats Swiss cheese on pizza and like no shade to you Brenda I'm sorry if you're watching but like Swiss cheese does not belong on pizza and I know her logic is that it's lactose free but Swiss cheese does not belong on pizza it just doesn't you need mozzarella mozzarella you know the pizza blend the Italian pizza blend you need a three cheese blend you need something but not Swiss Swiss is too heavy it's too thick it's too it's as a Michelin star chef, I just don't approve of the Swiss cheese on pizza, so that's what we're not gonna do. So I have to go get some ingredients, well, get some cheese, <laughs> and come back and make the pizza. Um, I'm happy she bought the ingredients. I mean, I didn't, I don't know if she's having a party or something, but like, there's lots of pizza ingredients in there, so I'm excited. So yeah, let's just go get some ingredients at the grocery store and um, get into the pizza making. This is my outfit of the day. Please don't judge me, I don't feel like putting socks on and I'm putting <gasps> sneakers with those socks. But they're very breathable. They're very breathable. I just realized I'm going to the supermarket, that means I get dipping sauce. It's the little things. That creamy garlic dipping sauce. I forgot the dipping sauce and I realized right when I got to cash I was like I'm not about to wait in this line again so I'm driving to Pizza Pizza to go get dipping sauce so we got our dipping sauce the man laughed at me it was funny he was nice but he was like oh I should start doing that too and I was like okay I got the pizza cheese this one's called pizza mozzarella not Swiss cheese this does not belong on pizza, guys. It just doesn't. I like my pizza super simple. I like pepperoni. I like cheese. And I like sauce. Okay, no, I do put a little bit. I put Italian seasoning. And I put chili flakes. And I put Italian bomba. And that's about it. Let's preheat our oven to... Uh, I have 400, I think. 400. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it to four, a little under 400. Pizza time. Sorry to wash my hands before you come for me. So I use garlic naan. Um, it tastes good. I find that the texture is better when you use pizza dough, but garlic naan is what's here. So it's good, it tastes really nice. Then I use this marinara sauce from Costco. It's really good, it's fresh. And I put it, ooh, I forgot the, ooh, I forgot the, <laughs> I forgot the olive oil. I know I'm a Michelin star chef, but, not, but we all make mistakes. I usually brush olive oil on the bottom of the um, the dough. How am I gonna do this? It's sauce all over it. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna, okay. Damn. I'm just gonna put the olive oil on this and rub them on the, on the pizza pan. So, how's everyone feeling? There was a new moon last night and I feel like energies are off. Um, I don't know, like new moon brings in good energy, new energy. Um, I do like new moons because it's like change, transition, all that. Full moons, whew, those ones are the emotional ones. Those are the ones that like, I don't really know what's happening. And I cry and I cry and then I look at the calendar and I'm like, oh, that explains it. And I realize that it's a full moon. New moon is more like, I feel a little better about things if I'm going through things or I start to have new perspectives and I release certain things and I start planting seeds for manifestation and it's a better time but it's definitely like a weird transitional phase in my life right now and I'm not ready to talk about it. I mean if you have common sense you might have already figured it out just based off of how I'm acting but um, 
and I'm ready to talk about it, so. Yeah. Now I'm taking some Italian seasoning and I'm putting it all over there because this is a pizza sauce. This is just marinara sauce. So um, I wanted to have more of like a pizza taste. And of course, pizza is Italian, no, an Italian. I gotta stop that. Oh, I like to put the chili flakes on under the cheese because the cheese bakes it into the dough and then it gets a nice spicy, spicy flavor. And it's delicious. I learned that in Michelin star training school. And I put the mozzarella, not the Swiss. <laughs> and I just spread it all over. I'm not an extra cheesy gal, mostly because I'm lactose intolerant. Then I take this Italian bomba, and there's like an oil that comes out of it. So I just drizzle the oil like over the pizza. Oh, it's thicker because the, the fridge is so cold. And it just gives it a nice flavor. Like it's not too spicy, it's more like flavorful. If you ever tried Italian bomba, then you know like how good this shit is. We get this at a local restaurant. Then I load on the pepperoni. Ooh, I fucked that bag up. I like a lot of pepperoni, like a lot. <laughs> I will cover it all because they shrink, you know? They shrink, the shrinkage is real. Like my three, no, my 4A hair. I don't know what my hair is, I have a hundred textures. Um, anyways, what am I even talking about? Yeah, so what was I saying? New moon, new energy, woohoo, that's what I need right now. I'm just like processing a lot. I've been like doing a lot of internal reflection as I always am and like just coming to a lot of truths and realizations that like hurt. And it's a weird feeling because I'm so used to like just being down on myself and right now I'm just like seeing a lot of things that I didn't see and it makes me really sad and I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling it's just like it's pretty sad but I'm processing it in healthy ways I'm not drinking I'm not um, like doing the most I'm just home filming my videos and seeing my closest BFFs and reconnecting with friends that I haven't talked to and it's a good time yeah. Oh, do you want to see it? I'm sorry, that was so rude of me. This is what's going in the oven. Should we put some more chili flakes on? Ooh, no, you know what we should do? Some basil on top. I love some basil. Maybe some garlic powder. See, I like like powders on my pizza. I'll put a little bit of garlic powder. Not too much though, I don't like too much. Um, I like a little bit of like things on my pizza, but not like toppings. I like seasonings and like, oils and chili flakes but i'm not a big like veggie kind of gal i don't like meat lovers i don't like chicken i just like pepperoni cheese that's how i order it everywhere i go now it's going in the oven okay i don't know how long it should be hey siri put a timer for 11 minutes that feels long so yeah that's where I'm at mentally. You might hear me talk about my feelings a lot for the next couple weeks. I have no problem with being like vulnerable and expressive and like talking about certain things. Like obviously I'm not gonna go into detail on the internet, but um, like I don't have a problem with like saying I'm sad or like being sad. I know a lot of people do and that's understandable, but like if I'm sad, you're gonna know it. <laughs> you are gonna know because I'm very emotional. So if you see me a certain way for a while, like I'm okay. Um, but just bear with me, like, I'm gonna ramble. I am, but I'm gonna clean up and show you the pizza when it's done. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. I cannot wait to eat. Oh, I cannot wait to eat. And that dipping sauce, I got the pizza pizza. If you're Canadian, this is the creamy garlic dipping sauce. This shit is so good for pizza pizza. I don't fuck with pizza pizza because it's cheap. It's gross, it tastes like cheap pizza, but it is the best dipping sauce. Okay. See you in a bit. I look so cute today. I, did, I look pretty, okay. <laughs> okay, the alarm just went off, so let's check on it. Ooh, smells so good. Mm. She's looking watery and undercooked. See, this is the problem with the naan. Like, it gets too hard, but it's still not cooked. Like, what am I supposed to do? Putting her back in. All right, it's cooking really slow, so I'm doing something really risky and I'm putting it on broil for one minute because 
like mm, I don't know it's getting like mm, it's soft we don't like soft things okay this is the best I'm gonna get without the crust turning rock hard so Ooh, bitch. I know you're supposed to wait till it cools down but don't you know I'm impatient Ooh, that burns a little bit because I never want to make it too spicy even though I love spice but then I just like don't put enough okay mm, I'm so excited mm -hmm. that dipping sauce was a good call oh my god that is good let's see if there's a cheese bowl Not spicy enough. As much as I love eating with you guys, I'm gonna go watch a show. I'm on my break right now, so I take like a 45 minute break during the day. Mm. To eat and chill, so I'm gonna go watch some shit to Creek. Have my pizza, finish the whole thing, and then keep filming. But I hope you guys enjoy joining me in my Michelin star chef kitchen. Um, I know you probably don't have all of these like high grade ingredients at home, so you might have to go find them. But I mean, it is what it is, I'm sorry. I just have access to like the best vendors and markets and things like that, so I have the freshest ingredients, but like I'm sure you can find some somewhere in your area. I hope you enjoy, and I'm sorry that you can't eat this pizza with me because it was really fucking good, but I will see you next time. Oh my god, this shit looks good.